Hello, my name is Keith Effort with NIDEC. Today, we will be demonstrating the operation of the RS-3000 Advance Spectral Domain OCT. To capture patients that are new, we're going to select on the New Patient button. Here you would enter in the patient's demographics and then click on the OCT Capture button. If there's an existing patient, you select the patient and then select the OCT Capture button at the top. The OCT is now started. There are eight scanning patterns to choose from. The first scanning pattern is a macula line. The macula line can be adjusted from 12 millimeters by left clicking on the mouse and dragging to 3 millimeters. You can also rotate the line scan when you get your rotation marker in any degree you choose. Or you can move the line scan to an area of concern onto the retina. There's a fixation that you can also adjust by putting your mouse on the fixation. The C up here will clear the scan back to its original default setting. The macular cross can be adjusted out to nine millimeters or rotated. The macula map defaults at nine millimeters by nine millimeters or it can be adjusted to three millimeters. The macula multi can be adjusted out to nine millimeters. The pitch can be adjusted from 1.5 millimeters to 75 microns. And under the detailed settings, you can select it to be a horizontal scan pattern, a vertical scan pattern, or across. The macular radial scan defaults at six lines and can be adjusted out to nine millimeters. Under the detailed settings, you can select 12 lines. The disc circle is for RNFL. Disc map defaults at six millimeters by six millimeters and can be adjusted from three millimeters out to nine millimeters. The disc radial defaults at six lines and can be adjusted out to nine millimeters. Also under the detail settings, you can select 12 lines. Under the combo mode, this is where you can customize scan patterns to meet the doctor's needs for ease of use and increased workflow. And I'm going to demonstrate how to take a macular line scan. Angela, if you put your chin in the chin rest, forehead against the forehead rest, adjust the OCT in the chin rest to where the line circle is outlining the patient's pupil. Slowly move in the main body towards the patient, keeping the circle concentric with the patient's pupil. Evaluate your signal strength index and your signal quality index. Quality index is the quality of your SLO image. If your quality image is low, you can adjust by selecting the light bulb. The signal strength index is the quality of your B-scan image. If the signal strength index is low, select the optimize button, which will auto-focus, auto-Z position, and auto-polarize the OCT signal. Once you're comfortable with your signal strength in your line scan position, press the button on the joystick. As you can see here, we are averaging 50 images. The scan is complete. You can select the OK, No Good, or Retry button, or set it as a baseline for follow-up exams. The next scan I'm going to demonstrate is the macula map scan for overall macula thickness and assessment. Adjust your line scan. Optimize for autofocus, auto Z position, and auto polarization. Press the button on the joystick. This scan takes 1.6 seconds with 512 A scans to 128 B scans in our regular mode, which is 53,000 A scans per second. 
Select OK, NG, retry, or set as baseline. The next scan pattern I will demonstrate is the macula multi. The macula multi defaults at a cross, however it can be programmed to default as a horizontal scan or a vertical scan or again back to your cross scan. I'm going to demonstrate the horizontal scan. We're going to go ahead and align our B scan and our pupil image until we get a good signal strength index. I'm going to press the button on the joystick. As you can see, we're averaging 10 per line. This can be adjusted from 1 all the way up to 120 if you desire a more high definition scan. I'm going to select OK. I'm now going to demonstrate how to take a disk map scan. This will give you evaluation of the optic nerve head. I'm going to left click and hold on the disk map. I'm going to align the disk circle to outline the patient's disk. When I drop it in place, the scan will automatically start tracking and scanning all at once. This is our auto shot feature which can be turned on or off. Here, select OK, no good, retry, or set as baseline. Once you're finished with all of your scans, click on the Save, Check, Exam, and Close button. Your exams are now saved. Thank you for watching. For more information on the NIDIC RS3000 Advanced OCT or any of NIDIC's high quality products, visit usa.nidic.com.